Welcome everyone to the inaugural Tom Uren Memorial Lecture. I'm so disappointed not to be with you this afternoon, but unfortunately my duties as a godmother attending a goddaughter's wedding overseas have been put in place before the dates were finalised. However, I'm very pleased our daughter Ruby's here and she'll be giving me a detailed account this evening, if I can get my damn Skype to work. The idea for an ongoing memorial lecture in Tom's name is very exciting. I'd especially like to thank Anthony and Darcy for the vision to establish this memorial and Vivian, Janelle and Anthony's staff for preparing this first event. Tom would be so pleased. Tom regarded Anthony as another son and was always so proud of him, although he did object to him being called Albo. We all know throughout his life Tom was a fighter for justice and equity over a broad spectrum of social and environmental causes. Tom often quoted Martin Luther King that injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Tom admitted he wasn't a great reader, but having left school at 13, he was inspired by great thinkers. He drew his social values from life and living rather than from books. He believed in the power of communication through dialogue, be it a passenger on the 442 bus or thousands of demonstrators attending a peace rally in Hyde Park. His good friend Jim Cairns introduced him to the thoughts of the Brazilian educator and philosopher Paolo Freire. And Tom would often quote him saying, dialogue cannot exist in the absence of a profound love for the world and for mankind, that a culture of silence eliminates the paths of thought for social change. By establishing these memorial lectures, Tom's belief that communication and dialogue were vital to continue the fight for social change will continue. If future speakers are of the calibre and integrity of Jose Ramos Horta, we look forward to a continuing dialogue of enlightening inspiration and education. A special thank you to you, Jose, for honouring this event by speaking today. The independence and future stability of Timor-Leste were very dear to Tom's heart. These lectures will continue Tom's ideal to help build an environmentally sensitive, beautiful and more tolerant world. Thank you all for being here today.